Hey what's going on guys, Turtle Bertie here and welcome back to another Minecraft Morning tutorial for version 1.15. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to be going over how to create an ore. Um, now this tutorial does not work for version 1.14 or 1.13 uh, as it is different. So uh, just thought I'd let you know that this is purely just for 1.15. Um, and this is very easy to do. Now, I'm not actually going to be creating a new ore block, but if you want to do that, um, you basically just create a new block. Um, you don't have to make it extend ore block, as many people think you have to do. It's just as simple as creating a new block. Uh, if you want to make it drop uh, XP, um, the video after next will be on um, advanced blocks. So, uh, if you look in that one... Um, you can see how, but it's basically the same as my advanced items, but with blocks. Um, and it's just uh, add XP to drop, I think, or, or drop XP, or something like that. So, uh, yeah. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our world.gen class uh, package. If you haven't created that, you can go ahead and create that inside your main package. And in here, we're going to create a new class. And I'm just going to call this um, mod or gen actually no, I'm going to call it tutorial or gen now this is not going to extend anything it's not going to implement anything and it's not going to have any annotations it's just going to be a normal old class and in here we're going to want a method called, which is public static void and we're going to call that generate or okay Inside of here, we're going to want a for loop so we can loop through all the biomes. So, uh, for biome, biome, in forge registries, there you go, forge registries, dot biomes. Now, this is a list of all the biomes that forge has registered. So, even if you have other mods, um, any biome that Forge uh, has registered or um, another mod has registered into Forge, it will take all those biomes and the vanilla biome. So basically pretty much uh, any biome. And in here, um, we can do one of two things. So first thing we can do is check the biome. So we can check for a certain thing. Now I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of this. So I'm going to check that the biome is a plains biome, um, as I don't want it to spawn in any other biome. This is purely just for the tutorial's sake. Um, but you might want to do this. You could, you can do several things in here. So if biome, and then you can do dot, and then you've got all these different things you can do, um, like does water freeze, does snow generate, is high humidity. Um, you can do all these different things, but I'm just going to do if biome uh, is equal to biomes dot planes. So it will basically only generate the ore if it's a planes biome. Now, obviously, you can do an else here, for example, and you know do something in here. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep with the if. And so inside of here, we're going to want to do biome. Um, actually, no, we're going to create the uh, placement first. So if we do configured placement, and we're going to call this custom config, and that's going to be equal to placement dot count underscore range, which will only uh, show up like this if you have the if you have a, a newer mapping. You might need to update your mappings to do that. Uh, count range, get rid of this, and then dot, and then this is unmapped, so it is this one right here, so it's that function, and that takes in a new count range config. So the first thing here is basically the, the count, so how common it is, so 20 for example, is really common. Um, so I am going to set it to 20 because I want it to be really common. 20. Um, and when I say really common, I mean like more common than coal. So, you know, really common. Next is the bottom offset. So this is basically the offset 
um, from the bottom of the world. Um, and I'm just going to set that to 5. So I want it to be 5 blocks off the bottom of the world. The top offset is the offset from the top of the world. So I'm just going to set that to 5 as well. But that one's a bit strange. And then this last one is maximum. So this is basically the maximum height it can generate. Uh, take away the offset from the top of the world. So it will be this, whatever this value is, take away this. I don't know why it works like that. Um, I don't know why it's not just maximum. I don't really know why the offset exists. Um, but I'm going to say the maximum uh, is 25. Just like that. And if we import configured placement, there we go. And then we actually need to add the feature to the biome. So, um, yeah, that's that's what they're called. So, ores are features, and structures also work as features now. So, that's basically what they've called it. Anything that generates in the world, um, which is on top of the normal chunk generation, um, is called a feature, with some exceptions, but mostly features. Um, and to add a feature, you just do biome dot add feature the decoration stage is going to be generation stage that's not right generation stage dot decoration dot underground ores and then the feature is going to be feature dot or not emerald or thank you what just happened feature dot or dot with configuration and let's just import feature so that we can get all our things make sure it's from the minecraft package and in here you're going to want to do a new or feature config that's going to take in or feature config dot filler block type and then this is basically the block that your uh, or is going to generate in and so natural stone is just stone granite diorite and andesite Neverack is just Neverack, um, and if you want to create your own, you can use create down here, which uses a predicate of the state. Um, I would only use that if you know what you're doing, really. Um, but I'm just going to use natural stone, because obviously in a plains biome, that's kind of all you're going to And then the next parameter is the block that you want to generate. So I'm just going to do block in it dot example underscore block you know keep it simple if I could actually type that is um, and then dot get default state if we import block in it so as you can see that's now going to the edge of the screen so let's just control shift F and that will fix it up a bit and then the next parameter is um, basically I think it's how common it is no it's the size so the maximum uh, size of the of the ore so the max vein size um, and I'm going to set that to be 10 and then after two brackets so come two brackets out you can do dot with placement and then that will take in our custom config which is up here if I just control shift F, yeah, that's a bit weird. So let's just fix this up ourselves. Um, okay, and then like that, we can just push that over there. That's not really an issue. So that's pretty much it. Um, we just need to register this really. So we can close that class now. We can go into our main class and we need to create a new method in here. So we need to make sure this is a, um, well actually first thing we need to do is this, if you haven't already, um, you need to make sure this is a uh, at mod.event bus subscriber, and the bus needs to be bus not mod, 
so you know that's quite important if you don't have that just copy that from the video and in here we're going to have a subscribe event so at a subscribe event it's very important that you have that otherwise the uh, method will never be fired and this method needs to be a public static void and it's um, I'm just going to call it load complete event and that's going to take in fml load complete event and we're going to call that event okay and inside of here um, we're just going to simply do uh, tutorial tutorial or gen dot generate or so we need to make sure this is obviously done before the server starts um, and it is because fml load is done way before the server starts so that's good if it's done after the server starts it will crash because you can't um, do it post server started so that's it um, I'm now going to load into the game and see if I can find my ore that's not going to be the quickest thing in the world but um, I'll see if I can find it and then uh, yeah I'll, I'll see you guys if I find it okay so guys uh, I am in the game as you can see uh, with my coordinates uh, finding planes by him wasn't too easy um, so I'm at negative 60,000 but here we are here is my ore it is there um, if I look over there I don't know if you can see it but it's about there there's some more uh, there's some there there's loads um, because I'm in a planes by him so yeah look there's some there there's some there there's some there there's some there 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 um, pretty much anywhere I go it's going to be there um so yeah that, that's actually that's it um for this tutorial so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial uh please do be sure to smash face into that like button and uh subscribe as well because why not um and yeah i will see you guys in the next tutorial good bye